Heavenly Father, we ask that you continue to reign in this service and always in our lives. Let all the glory be yours and let all the blessings be ours. Glorify your name this moment of sharing your word. Let the entrance of your word give us light. Let it illuminate our darkness. Let it refresh us. Let it equip us. Let it correct us. Let it rebuke us. Let it convict us. Let your word do us good. We ask, Father, by your mercy, that we shall not just be heirs alone, but we shall be doers of your word. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' most precious name, I be worship our maker. Come and put those hands together for Jesus as you take your seat. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Please can the eater be turned off. Oh, thank you very much. Amen. Because the way God has created me, I sweat even in winter. Amen. Praise God. Just say to somebody next to you that God is about to bless you. Say to another person, God is about to bless you. Amen. Let us appreciate the choir. Amen. If you are in Sunday school this morning, say, God bless you, Pastor. If you are in Sunday school this morning, say, God bless me. If you are not in Sunday school this morning, say, God help me. Amen. Praise the Lord. One of the things that we learned is, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But before then, that if you do and continue in my word, amen. I am not Pastor Ayo, I am Pastor Philip. So I'm going to say it differently. Because Pastor Ayo was being too nice. And when I was watching him online, trying to say, I'm not trying. If you are late, you are late. Amen. Praise the Lord. God will help you. I said, God will help you. I said, God will help you. So, not with Pastor now, it's Pastor that said it, amen. If you are late, you are late. And God will equip you in the mighty name of Jesus. If we blame God for being late, God does not blame any one of us for coming late, but he's giving us the opportunity to do the right thing. And say to your neighbor, neighbor, do the right thing and stop coming to church late. It is not befitting to God Amen. And if anybody feel I'm talking to them, glory be to God. It is pastor. Come on, shout hallelujah. You know, we are different. So that's pastor. Your amen. Praise the Lord. And also he's a lawyer. So he can, but we pastor. Amen. Hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, the message today is going to do us good. And I will tell you the journey. <laughs> when my father in heaven broke this down to me, I said, thank you, Lord, I didn't put man's knowledge. Amen. Because I had a way that I want to go, and the Lord said, no, 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 no. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of us we will see the true light today. I say a lot of us will see the true light today in the mighty name of Jesus. I had a divine visitation on Tuesday. The presence of God was so strong, and he said, son, what would you have me do for you for your birthday? And I asked God for something. God said, you have asked wrongly. And he told me what I should ask for. And then this morning, he woke me up. He said, I need you to be in church 6.30 to just offer praise unto me. Amen. Because of what I'm about to do through this message today. Hallelujah. Amen. If nobody is aware, at least one person is aware. Hallelujah. Amen. Who came before everybody? Hallelujah. Saw me. Praising God. And one of the things that we have learned today also is obedience is very key. And thank you, Dr. Murphy, for sharing that the Jews uh, open heavens with us, talking about obedience. Amen. I'm going somewhere so that you can have an understanding 
of what you're about to hear today, what made Bartimaeus to stand out. Hallelujah. Amen. In Mark chapter 10, verse 51b, Mark chapter 10, verse 51b, that's our reference for today. Amen. How many of you still love pastor? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to be sure so that I know that you are connecting. Amen. I dare not come late. Hallelujah. I made sure that I got here before 6.30. Because you cannot keep God waiting. Hallelujah. Amen. Every late comers, God has delivered you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. I, I, that amen doesn't have faith. The Lord has delivered you this morning in Jesus' name. If you love pastor, say God bless you, pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. There's some things we don't like to hear in church, but we hear it at place of work. When you are late, your boss will talk to you. Say, why are you late? Hallelujah. Amen. But in church, oh, pastor doesn't understand. I do. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord will help you. Are we there? Mark chapter 10, verse 51b. Amen. Bible says, the blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. And the title of today's message is, Bartimaeus was blind, now blessed. Amen. He was blind, but now he is blessed. Amen. Let me just give us some things that will happen to us or to anyone that is blind. Number one, when you are blind, you will remain in darkness. Thank you for that home. The Lord bless you. Amen. In case you don't know, pastors need encouragement. Everyone that preaches here needs encouragement. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the encouragement tells us that you are flowing. Hallelujah. Number two, when you are blind, you will live in obscurity. Number three, when you are blind, please, I need you to follow this message very well. Your life will be void. Because the Bible told us that, and there was thick darkness. And the earth was void. Amen. Praise the Lord because of the darkness. Number four, when you are blind, you will have no form or shape. Number five, when you are blind, you will lack vision. Or better put, you will have no vision. Number six, when you are blind, you will be hindered and you'll be limited to a certain proximity. You can't go beyond what heaven has ordained for you. Because you are blind. That will never be the portion of any one of us in the name of Jesus. Number seven, when you are blind, you cannot walk at will freely. For example now, if I ask anyone close your eyes and come to the pulpit, amen, you, there's tendency that you will hit the pillar. Or if I turn off the lights here, amen, praise the Lord. When there's darkness, you will not be able to walk at will freely, amen. That is, your progress will be hindered. Number eight, when you are blind, you will not be able to pursue purpose. Amen. Etc. Etc. And I put down here, as the Holy Spirit told me, that blind people can see the light even when the light is before them. Hallelujah. Blind people can see the light even when the light is before them. Now, what can make you and I to be blind? Even though we are born again, we are Christians, we are believers. Follow me to the book of Galatians chapter 5. Because of time, we will not be able to go through other scriptures. But outside Galatians chapter 5, God told me, for as many that are still living in unforgiveness, <laughs> even though you are born again, you are a Christian, 
You are still blind. You are blind. Say, for as many that are also living in offense or are channel of offense, that you are blind. Today, God wants to open our eyes to become better Christians and to be the born again that we claim to be. Bartimaeus was tired of being in darkness, of being blind. And he cried out, and we are going to cry out, that God help me. The heaven, which is our ultimate goal, none of us will miss it in the name of Jesus. But many watching me online, listening, wherever you are, I said the heaven, which is our ultimate goal, none will miss it in the name of Jesus. If you are the type that give to argument, strive, covetousness, you are still blind, even though you claim to be born again or Christian. My father said to me clearly to say to all of you that I want you to sanctify yourself. Hallelujah. Be a vessel unto honor. As long as you remain blind, you live in this honor. Amen. Because why? Bible told us in the book of John, when you read the book of John chapter 1, 2 to 14, he identified Jesus as the light of the world. Let me just summarize it. Amen. And if you claim to be in Jesus, you must not be blind. Amen. And the Lord is going to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I know this might not be a popular message, but it's a message for purpose. So that having done all, you and I will be able to stand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Bible told us that when we walk in the flesh, we will satisfy the things of the flesh. In Galatians chapter 5, amen. Now, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. Bible told us in Romans chapter 8, I don't know why the Holy Spirit is bringing this, amen, but I know the spirit of truth. That the only one that can justify you is God. Amen. The Lord is saying to tell somebody here, stop justifying yourself. Hallelujah. The more you do it, the more you are blind. Because despite everything they did to Jesus Christ, he didn't justify himself. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. If truly you are born again, God will glorify his name in your life. Do I an amen to that? Do I hear an amen to that? God glorified his name in the life of Bartimaeus. The man that was blind became blessed. Hallelujah. So what is God saying now? If you look at Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. It says, stand first through. Stand first therefore, sorry. In the liberty to which Christ has made us free and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. What is this yoke of bondage? Please follow me to the book of First John, First John chapter 4, First John chapter 4. Verse 20, 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. It says, if someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God, whom he has not seen? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants us to enjoy liberty. He wants us to enjoy freedom but we must have genuine love. Hallelujah. So anyone operating in envy, jealousy, hatred, you are still blind because you do not belong to the light, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. When Bartimaeus had an encounter with the light, his blindness disappeared. I pray today in the name of Jesus, whatever stand as a form of blindness in our life shall disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I said it will disappear in the name of Jesus. Don't let us entangle ourselves with such things. We have been born again. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become what? New. We are in the era of the new, and we must embrace the new. And the Lord will help us in just mighty name. I was rejoicing this morning all through Sunday school and the liberty prayer and the, 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 the um, fresh anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. For example, where husband and wife is concerned, amen, love, submission, should not be a thing of issue. Where parents and children are concerned, amen, hallelujah, honor your parents must not be an issue. Hallelujah. Where God is concerned, tasting God and see that the Lord is good must not be an issue. Hallelujah. After all, you eat every day, don't you? Amen. Praise the Lord. If there's anyone here that doesn't eat every day, lift up your hand. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Then you must eat the word of God every day. Remember that song? If anybody is sleeping next to you, amen, tell that person you must give me the revelation. Amen. Praise the Lord. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every knee must. Don't let us forget those songs. So. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. If you are here under the sound of my voice or you are watching online, you don't. Take time to read, to study, to meditate on the word of God. My father said I should tell you, you are still blind. Even though you claim to be born again. Amen. Every day, oh, thank you. Hmm, thank you. I have a message, but the Lord said we should sing this song. Satan can never, never conquer me. Oh, the Lord is taking me back to those old songs. Satan can never, never conquer me. Paris, don't worry, we'll teach you. Satan can never, never conquer me. When I put my hope in God. Correct me, people, amen. Yeah? When I put my hope in God. Hallelujah. Christ in me, Colossians chapter 3. It's my hope of glory. Who is the word? Christ. Who is the light? Christ. Amen. So for you to live a conqueror's life, you must live by the word. You must have the light. Hallelujah. One thing that Satan cannot stand is the light. Hallelujah. And the Lord is going to help us in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Bartimaeus was fed up. And you too must be fed up this morning that you don't want to live a life of mediocrity where your Christian life is concerned. Hallelujah. As you're going to ask God for grace to be able to study his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you one thing so that you will know that it is not just you. Hallelujah. I don't study the Bible seven days a week. Let me tell you, I'm a pastor. Hallelujah. And I was be honest with you. Amen. But one thing I do as a matter of discipline, is at least four days in a week. Hallelujah. And then the rest I spend in praying. Because I've discovered that times when you want to study the Bible, that's when you want to sleep. Let me be honest with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I study it when I'm at my best. Hallelujah. Amen. And God has been helping me. If I stand here and tell you that I study the Bible seven days a week, I am lying. But at least four days. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Lord will help us. Outside when I'm preparing for the message. Now, if at that level, I am still struggling, how much more somebody who don't study the word at all? Say to yourself, God, I receive the grace to study your word on a daily basis in the mighty name of Jesus. Ow! And I'm going somewhere now. As we begin to round up, amen. How was it easy for Bartimaeus to know that it was Jesus? Hallelujah. You see, when you have the word of God in you, 
And when the word comes, hallelujah, there will be a joy in your spirit. Hallelujah. It was the joy that the word that Bartimaeus had in him that made him to know that Jesus is around. Hallelujah. May you never miss the presence of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, may you never miss the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In all my work with God, one of the things that I know I enjoy is God's presence. When it comes, I know. Hallelujah. Because David said, your word, oh God, have I hidden in my heart so that I may not sin against you. When the word in you encounter the word, you will walk in light. Hallelujah. So what does it mean for you to walk in darkness and for you to walk in light and being blessed? When you walk in darkness, you will always walk in the flesh. Sorry, please go and read Galatians chapter 5. Amen. Verse 1 through to 25. Amen. Because of our time. But when you walk in light, then you walk in the spirit and you are blessed. Hallelujah. Anyone that walks in the flesh remains blind. But anyone that walks in the spirit becomes blessed because the spirit gives light. Amen. Oh, pastor, we don't understand this. Follow me to Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 to 3. Even God himself demonstrated it. Hallelujah. God couldn't say, let there be light until the spirit. Hallelujah. Hoover around. Hallelujah. When the Lord took me to that scripture, I was just bubbling with joy. Bible says, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, if the Spirit was not hovering, God would have said, hallelujah. So we need the Spirit of God on a daily basis. Never do things in the flesh. Let God guide you because God wants us to be blessed and you will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. May we not labor here on earth and miss eternity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That will never be a portion in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to write this equation down. Hallelujah. Blind equals darkness equals poverty. Because for as long as Bartimaeus was blind, he was begging. And then blessed equals light equals prosperity. Because the moment he was blessed, what happened? Hallelujah. He rose up and he got his sight. Hallelujah. And the Bible reference to that is in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. 3, 1, 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. When you are blessed, you are blessed forever. And that will be our portions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 3 John chapter 1. Yes, 3 John Verse 2, Bible says, Beloved, I wish above all things, above all things, that thou mayest what? Prosper. And be in what? In good health, even as thy soul. Hallelujah. Anyone that is blind, their soul cannot prosper. But when you see the light, your soul will prosper because what? The light gives direction. Hallelujah. The light gives clarity. The light brings about fruitfulness. The light enhances progress. And finally, the light makes you to fulfill purpose. In conclusion, I want you to follow me to the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 to 23. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 to 23. The summary of that scripture is that the Lord will enlighten 
our eyes of understanding, that we may know what is the riches, the depth, and the wealth of his riches in us in Christ Jesus. So as you remain seated, I want you to talk to God Almighty and say, Father, I don't want to be blind again. Even though I am born again, even though I am a Christian, I have heard this morning that there are some things that I'm still doing, or there are some things that the devil is still making me to do, that is keeping me to be blind. I want to see the light. I want to be blessed forever. Help me, Lord, not to live in unforgiveness, not to live in bitterness, not to live in strife, not to be given to offense. Every work of the flesh, oh God, that might still be manifesting in me, Lord, let them be destroyed. I don't want to be kept blind. Lord, let me begin to walk in the spirit. Let me walk by the spirit. Let your spirit help me. You help Bartimaeus and they receive sight. Lord, I want to see your light. I want to live in the light. I want to abide by the light so that it shall be well with me for the rest of my life so that I will make it to heaven. I want you to talk to God. The moment Bartimaeus had an encounter with the light, joy that overflowed rose on the inside of him and filled him. Ask God Almighty, I don't want to live a life, a Christian life, a born-again life that will end in hell. Lord, I want to end and reign with you in heaven. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. The same way you have Bartimaeus, help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father in heaven will thank you. Lord will bless you. Jehovah will give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people will say, please, because of our time, the prayer, your focus should be on that Ephesians chapter 1. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then third John, or, or third John, yes, 1, 2. Amen. That's the wish of God for us, and the Lord will bless us in Jesus' mighty name. It is offering time. Hallelujah. Amen. It is offering time. And I will be taking the tithe and the offering. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The word of God made us to understand that give and it shall be given unto you. Luke 638. Good measure, presidents shaking together, running over. That you give, so shall men give unto your bosom. And also the word of God told us, also tells us and encourages us and charges us that we should bring all the tithes into the storehouse. That we will do so, it will rebuild the devourer for our sake. And what does your tithe do? Your tithe helps to provide resources, even for the church and for the maintenance of the church and even to pay salaries also. And the Lord will bless you as you partner with God in that area in the mighty name of Jesus. So if there's anyone or if there are any people who have brought their tithe into the storehouse this morning, can you rise up to your feet wherever you are? If you need an envelope, just wave your hand. And if you have paid your tithe or your offering online, please rise up wherever you are online. And if you are here, rise up. Amen. Praise the Lord. I pay by online as well. Just repeat after me and say, Father, I want to thank you for the spirit of obedience in bringing my tithe, oh God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that in blessing, you will bless me. You will rebuke the devourer for my sake, oh God. Let people see me and call me the light sum of you, oh God. Let it be well with the works of my hand. Prosper the works of my hand, oh God. Financially, I will not be blind, but financially, I will prosper. I will be blessed, oh God, because you've said you will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that will not have enough room to continue to go. Father, let it be in Jesus' name. Can the rest of us please rise up with our offering, both here and online? Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. I want you also to repeat after me that, Father, this is my offering. I want to thank you, oh God, for the privilege to bring seed to sow. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus that the fruits thereof will be my portion in the name of Jesus, that in blessing you will bless me. I will never lack, but will always have to give cheerfully and generously, O oh God. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' most precious name, have we pray with thanksgiving. 
Aleluia. Amém.